how you doing? Good, man. The fuck is up with it? What brings you out to Cleveland tonight? Man, I got this new album, Thug Show. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped by two weeks ago. I'm just letting everybody know what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm independent, so you know a lot of label. I mean, a lot of areas of the country. You know what I'm saying? I don't get no promotion in, and uh, I'm just trying to let the people know what's good, man. Slum Thug got an album. Out. That's what I'm about it. Cleveland always seems to really catch on and like a lot of southern artists. Do you yeah. feel like you're well accepted here? Man, I know how crazy it was, you know, back in the gap, when, like when Steel Tipping, we used to stay out here all the time, you know, and then with the underground music, with the mix CDs, we sold so many mix CDs out here, and I think that um, what happened was, I think that the, the, when we got with the major labels or whatever, it was hard to, uh, you know, like after that, they, they was holding us up and we weren't doing it, like we, we weren't handling it all our business ourselves after we let them get involved, man. You know, a lot of spots missed it, you know what I'm saying? So now we just letting them know it's still going down, we still making music, this new album out, you know what I'm saying, I'm just promoting. I remember hearing that you, you know, have a lot of side hustles too. You did yeah. something with like real estate. Yeah. What is the market like right now in, in an economy like this? I was. Yeah. And, and Texas, the market ain't that bad with real estate, but at the same time, I ain't been doing a lot of that. You know, I took I took some losses doing with doing that a few times. I still got properties and stuff, but I don't just do it as crazy as I used to. But nowadays, man, I've been doing this rapping. I, I really want to get into, you know, like franchise investments. You know, so I want to open different restaurants and stuff like that. I just want to be able to do a lot of stuff, so that's what I'm into now. How important do you think it is to have a side hustle nowadays? Man, it's very important, man. You don't never want to put all your eggs in one basket, man. You always want to have something else on the side you can rely on, because you never know, man. Like, just like how uh, the economy crashes, you know, at different times or whatever, you don't never know what, what, what it might fall into. It's people who got college degrees, got their master, ain't got no job, so you always want to have more than one hustle. What can we expect on this new album from you? Man, this, this, this album right here is real complete, man. It's real grown man music. Uh, I mean, I, from from the response of the people, like, you know what I'm saying? If you just go look on iTunes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know everybody come out and say, man, my shit high, this the shit or whatever. I, before that, I, I, I ain't just trying to sell you that. I'm, I want you to go to iTunes and just listen to the, you know, listen to the samples on the, on the music, you know what I'm saying? I took my time with it. I got perfect production on them. Got great features on there. And the music is just off the chain, man. It's just a solid album. I think everybody should go pick it up. If you don't, just go listen to it. You know, before you spend your money, I know how hard it is out here for some people. Go listen to the album, you know what I'm saying? Go, go uh, on iTunes, check it out. If you like it, get it. If you don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? I remember, you know, being in the Midwest when a lot of you guys got on with like Still Tipping, it seemed like Texas came on the scene as a whole movement, not just Slim Thugs right. from Texas, Paul Walls. It was just Texas right. as a whole came on. Right. Do you see a lot of unity in Texas still now? I, it's still a lot of unity, man, but it's just certain artists like y'all just seen a small picture of it. Y'all just seen me, Mike Jones, Paul Wall, Chameleon Air. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just seen that part of it. It's a lot of other rappers out there, but at the same time, Nobody, uh, no, it wasn't a, really a lot of other artists coming in after us on that, you know, when it, with the major push or whatever. But uh, I think I think being on the major labels kind of made it hard. Like one problem I had with being at, on Interscope, they wouldn't clear me to work with Power Wild. Like they wouldn't clear me to be on a mic, you know, with Mike Jones because they wanted the song to be on this album or whatever. And that ain't how we did it. We all just worked. So it's a lot of politics that come with that shit. And it just got to the point where I don't like that. I don't like people telling you what the fuck to do when I'm a grown man and I was already getting money before I got with y'all, you know what I'm saying? So I went back independent, man, and, and now I'm in control of everything. It's going to be harder, you know, for people here, whether here, you know, to know about the music, but I think it's definitely the best move. Oh, well, congratulations on the new album, man. I appreciate, appreciate you taking that. your time. Any, where can we check you out online? Man, follow me on Twitter, at Slim Thugger. You can go to my website, thethugshow.com. That's T-H-A, thethugshow.com. And that's what it is. I got an app. You can download, if you got an iPhone, you can download my app, Slim Thug app. You know what I'm saying? Just check it. Check me out, man. Check your boy out.